Today we will work with a stroke. We will apply a stroke on circle and the line. So first of all, uh, let's draw the circle here. And I'll draw a line here. I'll apply a stroke to both lines and circles and make different shape. So let me make it copy. Similarly, make duplicate of this line. These two are the original and we make duplicate of this and here also we did the same. Now what we'll do is I'll uh, select this circle and I'll go to stroke. If you don't find this option here then go to window and under this you'll find the stroke option or you can uh, just click on Control plus F10 on your keyboard and you'll find this option. So now select this and here I'll increase the width so you can uh, increase the width here also and here also. Suppose if I give it 30 and once I enter it, you'll see the same here also it is showing. And now select this and in the cap option, click on this round cap. After clicking on round cap, you can't see any transformation here. In corner option, click on the middle, this round join. Still, we did not see any transformation here. So let me click on dash line. So in dash line, it is uh, the value is zero here. That's why we can't see any transformation. So, but when I'll give it, give it 30, you'll see the transformation immediately. You can see the shape changes and but here I'll uh, I'll give it zero only and in this gap I'll give 30 here you can't see any gap in between because the width and the gap value is same but when we'll give more gap value you'll see there there will be a gap form you see here gap is increased. Similarly, if we give 50, you'll see more gaps will be formed in between the circles. Now we'll work on this circle. Similarly, here I'll give 30 again. And I'll click on this round join and click on the dash line. And this gap, I'll make it zero I'll not make zero I'll delete it and here I'll give 30 and you see we got this shape and if you click on this you'll see uh, the shape is a little bit changing but this works on the line now what I'll do I'll give more values here, 50. Here also you can give some values. You'll get different shape like this. Here give 20. You see we are getting different shape. If you get 10. So this way you can check these options. If you give 5, what happens? If you give 10. So this way you can transform the shape like this. And now I'll select this. Again here I'll give 30. You can give more values. It's up to you. So this time I'll click directly on dash value. And this is the previous value you can see here. So I'll erase those values. So now I'll select this one and I'll click on round cap 
and here I'll give some values and here I'll give 10 only so here let's give 50 here give 10 let's make it 0 let's keep this line original and we'll transform this line by using the stroke so let's select this line and here you can give a stroke so this time you can give 25 if you want or 30 also is up to you let's give 30 and you can see from the normal line it converts like that now select this and here is a option called round join so when we click on round join we do not see any transformation here so let's select this and this time we'll click on round cap so when we'll when we click on round cap you can see here uh, we found the transformation it curves here and now select this one and here is a option called this line so once you click on this line uh, it converts to this shape similarly select this one increase the stroke to 30 and we'll make the similar circular form on this line for that you need to click on this and this and click on the dash line and here make this one empty and you can see the transformation here and similarly select this one give 30 and now select this one here is a uh, more options are there variable with profile under this you'll find many options so click on this you see it transformed in this way if you click on this you'll get this shape you select this and you can check this one as well so these are the shapes you can convert it and after selection of this you can see uh, from both sides circles are equal here but when you will click on this you will see the transformation it changes hope you like this tutorial you can subscribe our channel for more updates thank you